Well, hello, welcome to another installment of the Milani Minute videos. Today, we are continuing our series through the Lord's Prayer, understanding what exactly Jesus was talking about when he shared the various aspects of how to pray. Um, we've talked about um, the reasoning for this prayer. We've talked about uh, getting into our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Uh, we've even gotten into the kingdom and your will being done. So today we're going to talk about it being done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, Pastor Caleb has already talked about the will of God being done. And it's important for us to, to recognize where this lines up in the totality of the prayer. So I'm just going to read the whole prayer for us, and then we'll, we'll dive right into the very next section. Um, you can recite this with me if you want, or you can just listen to these words. As Jesus said, pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory and dominion forever. Amen. Now, this passage that we're looking at today, we're looking at the just that short phrase, on earth as it is in heaven. What is Jesus getting at here? We're talking about the kingdom coming and God's will being done. It just all fits in one, one succinct thought. Um, but we're talking about the kingdom coming and we want the kingdom of God to come. As Christians, we should be longing for that day when Christ comes and establishes his kingdom and makes all things new, makes all things right. And so we're, we're working towards that kingdom. We want to see that kingdom come. We want to see that kingdom established and for us to enjoy um, an eternity spent with him, knowing that that kingdom is complete and that that kingdom is uh, brought to fr fruition. Um, but then he says, your will be done. And as we talk about God's will, Pastor Caleb has already mentioned that and he's gone through in his video, yesterday. Uh, so what I want to do is look at where, where, where do we want his will to be done? And what do we mean when we say on earth as it is in heaven? Well, when we talk about God's will, we have to understand we're talking about God's revealed will. Uh, in scripture, we know what scripture says about pleasing God. We know that it says very clearly that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith produces certain actions. And so we're not talking about works-based salvation, but works because of salvation. That, that would fit. Uh, so when we say we want God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, how is his will accomplished in heaven? Well, you look at some of the things that God has done. And you, you recognize all the way at the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and so God spoke, let there be light, and there was light. God spoke and said, let there be a firmament between the waters, the waters above and the waters below, and, and so there was, and the seas, excuse me, the sky was separated, and, and he continued on as he made various things, and, um, but notice he said, let us make man in our image. Um, each and every one of us bear the image of God. And as image bearers of God, we are called to fulfill his will in this world. Um, how is his will accomplished in heaven? When he says it, it happens. Uh, when he says, let us, things happen. When he sets out to accomplish a task, it is accomplished. When he sends out his word, it will not return void. So when we say, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We want to see God's will being fulfilled here in the same way that it's fulfilled there. That requires some effort on our part. So when we pray this and we say, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, 
we're not just praying some passive um, mindset of, well, you know, if, if, if it be your will, just allow whatever you want to take place. No, we're asking God, let your stuff, the things that you want to be accomplished, let them be done and use us in that. Use us to see your will come to fruition. I don't know where you stand in your walk with Christ, um, but what I can tell you is as a pastor, sometimes one of the things that we hear the most, the question we hear the most is often, what is God's will for my life? I can tell you in a general sense, every person watching this video, if you are a Christian, in a general sense, your um, calling in this life, the will of God for your life is very simple, to be like Christ. So as you pray, God, let your will be done here as it is there. What are you doing to be more like Christ? How are you walking to be like Christ in your relationships, in your job? in your home. I would encourage you to think, I would encourage you to pray, and I would encourage you to draw on the strength that comes from God to accomplish His will here as it is in heaven. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your love. But God, I also thank you for your sovereignty. And that whatever you set out to accomplish, you have the power to make that happen. And so, God, I thank you that whatever you set out to do, it is going to be done. And yet you call us to be a part of that. And God, what an incredible opportunity we have to be a part of bringing your will to fruition. And we recognize that we don't have the power to do things on our own, uh, not the things uh, of heaven. And so we need your help. We need your strength. We need your love. We need your grace. But we also need your mercy. So Lord, we come to you today and we ask that you would help us to see your will be accomplished here. Help us to be instrumental in seeing others come to Christ, to see the gospel going forth, disciples being made, and your church being strengthened. Help us, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.